It's James Banks here for Definitive Esports. So I'm here with Quantic Gaming Sassi. Um, we're here at the Home Story Cup. Sadly, he's out of the event, but he had some impressive results. Um, yeah, man, you had some impressive results. You can't say you didn't. You beat Dark Force 2 0, Damaga 2 0. Dark yeah. Forest is not very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not, I'm not going to bash him. But, um, I mean, Demago is impressive. Yeah, is impressive. I would say that anyway. You've been training hard in Korea. Um, so let's start with Korea really first. You've been in Korea for a while now with Naniwa. Um, how are you finding it? Uh, I love it there. Like right now, the only thing I want to do in my life is play StarCraft. And in Korea, I, I can do it on the highest level. So I enjoy it there. It's a little bit sad. I was in Sweden for a month, so I didn't get the practice I wanted before this tournament. But uh, yeah, I will go back now for uh, about 10 days before MLG Arena. So hopefully I will be do better at MLG Arena. So do you think not being in Korea before a tournament is um, significantly bad for your practice before an event? Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, I was talking with the uh, I think it was after Red Bull Land in the uh, USA. Hack, I told Hack I was going back to Korea for only like uh, about a week. And he said, does that really help you? And I'm very sure it helps uh, even for such a short time because the practice is just so much higher. Uh, every game helps you pretty much but in Europe I feel like I can just crush maybe 90% of the players I play so it's not many games in Europe that helps me. Now what I hear from a lot of players is that the Korean ladder is always a great game of practice because they are giving it almost 100% all the time compared to EU and NA where they might not be of such a they don't care so much about their ladder games. Um, do you think that is correct and do you think that's one of the reasons for it being so good? Uh, I think they care about the ladder games in Europe, but they are just not not on the same level. And yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I'm being good. I like to play ladder a lot, and uh, in Korea every game will be a high level, as I said before. So um, the culture in Korea is very different to what you're used to in Europe. Uh, how are you finding yourself adjusting to that? Oh, uh, I can uh, listen to what they say. I think if you go to another country and you are not like uh, very very high level you should just uh, accept uh, their culture and not try not to make too much trouble but i also think everyone is really nice in the starter house uh, everyone talks a lot to me everyone tries to speak english no one is uh, quiet or something like that so i'm loving it over there and the culture is not that hard to accept for me um, how much does it help having Naniwa in the house with you, another foreign-speaking person from the from the same country as you? Uh, it it makes it more easy because none of their no one in the house speaks perfect English, so the, it's always nice to have someone you can talk to, and especially from Sweden, it makes it so much more easier. So um, you've been at the Starter House for a while now. What are some of your best bits from staying in the Starter House? What best? Your best, your favorite moments in Starter House. <laughs> every day is a, a favorite moment. Every day is very funny. I think everyone is kind of crazy. So, <laughs> so any uh, stories? And I enjoy it every day. No, you can just look at Ace uh, ceremonies and <laughs> you kind of get it. What what happens in the house? <laughs> so, who from the Starter House is helping you the most? Um, Naniwa, obviously, but. From, do you mean the Koreans or can I say Nani or no? You say everyone, anyone who's helping you get to the level you're at now. I, I usually practice myself and I try to find my own style out. But uh, I think I would say everyone then because it's uh, such big motivation when you see uh, when you see everyone play you also want to play you can't really like go watch a movie when <laughs> there is 10 people playing Starcraft so it's a big motivation to stay there now you did really well at MLG you were one of the highest placing um, foreigners there I was the highest. the highest placing foreigner there there you go so um, do you think like are you impressed with that performance or are you hard on yourself and think you should have done better mm. 
work. I, I, I don't have expectations on myself. I just try to practice as much as I can. And if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. That's it. It doesn't matter too much if I feel like I did my best. And I feel like I, uh, I didn't play my top, top level at MLG, but I played pretty high level, I think. Uh, especially like mind games and such so that part I'm happy with but I think I can play better than I did at MLG. Now um, you got MLG coming up not long after this event and you said you're going back to Korea to practice for it do you have any expectations in yourself for that event or are you just gonna go and do your best? Uh, pretty much same like last question I never put the expectations on myself I, I just put pressure on myself to practice and practice and practice uh, when I'm in Korea because that's all I want to do right now. I want to become one of the best. So, so um, looking at events like MLG, do you prefer playing in an MLG event or do you prefer playing in Europe? Um, it depends on, I think, I would like to play a smaller tournament like 32 people like here, but here it's like so many people running around all the time and I consider this tournament more more as a relaxed event where you can enjoy yourself and have fun and I not take it like too seriously. Obviously I tried my best but uh, it wasn't enough and I'm not that disappointed in losing. So um, plans for the next six months, do you plan to stay in Korea or do you have any thoughts of moving back to Sweden at all? Uh, I plan to stay in Korea as long as I play StarCraft. I feel like the gap is just getting bigger and bigger between Korea and Europe. So uh, there, if I don't stay in Korea, I feel like there is no reason to play StarCraft or try to play StarCraft at the highest level. It's just not going to work. So you've got some foreign players like Stefano and Nurture who aren't in Korea. Um, do you think slowly they're going to fade out and not be able to keep up at the highest level of StarCraft? Both of them play Zerg and Zerg is not a race you need to practice against certain players. You just need to uh, like react to what you see and I guess a lot of uh, people in Europe is playing two base all in and such things, so it's not a hard thing to play. So I feel like, uh, is there any other player you think about uh, who doesn't play Zerg? Maybe someone like, um, off the top of my head. <laughs> what do you think of anyone maybe that is not out in Korea who could be nominated as a top player? Maybe someone like Damaga, Mana? I don't know, like at DreamHack there was uh, 120 Europe uh, foreigners and like, mm. I don't know, six Koreans or something, so it's a very small percent of Koreans and also the, the system DreamHack uses is very, very stupid, I think, like, you can lose one best of three and you're out, you can, uh, you can win two best of freeze and you are still out uh, so like hero did like 20 zero in map score and he lost one two uh, i think it's a kind of random system but i don't know mana is good but i think if he wanna be like uh, very solid uh, he has to go to korea and practice from there Okay. So um, we've got Naniwa doing very well in the GSL. Um, he's got to play against Don Wegu next. Uh, how do you think he's going to fare against Don Wegu? I don't know. I didn't uh, see him practice. It's very hard to say, but I'm sure he's preparing a lot. And Don Wegu went to uh, the IPL event this weekend, uh, so he has to travel back. I don't know today or tomorrow to Korea. Uh, so he. Naniwa obviously got more time to practice, so I, I hope Naniwa wins, of course. Great. Well, um, to round this up a bit, have you got any final words, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, I would like to thank all of my fans, my team Quantic Gaming, our sponsors. Um, thank you for this interview as well. Great, well, it's been a pleasure and hopefully we'll catch up with you another event very soon. Good luck in Korea with the rest of your practice. Okay. It's been James Banks here for Definitive Esports. Come check out the rest of our coverage and watch more of our interviews 
all over d-esports.com.